Imagine this. You're just playing Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, having a good time, when all of a sudden your ability to choose your own Pokemon gets brutally stripped away from you. And instead of being able to choose your own Pokemon, an AI generator chooses all your teams for you. Being serious though, this Pokemon Mystery Dungeon challenge is no joke. And a lot of the moments from this video are some you don't want to miss, so stick around. But with all of that said, enjoy the video fam. Woohoo! Alright, with the help of a friend, I was able to find this website that totally won't give you a virus. And using this, we'll be able to randomize which Pokemon are on our teams before each major battle. Fam, I can't even see any of the individual Pokemon. Let's spin this, John. Moltres, yo! We're starting this off strong, aren't we? And our partner will be... Remoraid. Okay, I guess I took all the luck in the first run. And because we're only doing the story mode in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, we only need two Pokemon for our teams. Now all that's left to do is to start playing the game. Enough stalling. I say we meander. My favorite starter to get in Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon is Mudkip, so if I can get Mudkip in this, then that would be absolutely ball sacks. All right, moment of truth, everybody. <laughs> Racism! I don't quite know why I'm throwing a hairy fit over this. I'm not even gonna get to play as Charmander anyway. Booty butt cheeks, except I can't fit the cheeks in there. My guy is too massive. Hey, Riolu kind of cool, not gonna lie. I saw it slowed down towards Mudkip, and, I'm, and I was literally like... <laughs> oh, I got the perfect name for this boy. Say it with me, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> Editing Nolan here. I'm gonna be popping in at the start of every chapter just to give you guys some content. In the beginning of this whole run, I was just kind of speed running through just to get to the juicy bits. Remember, I'm gonna be playing the whole entire Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon game in this video. Oh! Oh, shoots and ladders! We're playing Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, bro! Dude, it's been like 200 years since I've played this. This is hype. Oh, wow. And just like that, win our first Mystery Dungeon, everybody! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> So for those of you that don't know, this is supposed to be the tutorial dungeon, but I'm pretty sure the mod I'm using literally broke the game. Now there isn't even dialogue, and I'm playing as a Moltres. We can flicking use Dragon Rage! We got this easy, bro. And just like that, we've beat the first half of our first dungeon. There's no flicking way it's actually transferring into the into the dialogue. But look at how broken it is. Oh my goodness, this is so funny, dude. Wait, wait, where did the Remoraid go? The Remoraid disappeared. My man Freya went, oh, shit, I'm done here, yeah. I can't tell if I should change it back or leave it as it is, because this is funny. Oh, now his sprite is back. What the? My man just can't decide whether he wants to be a Remoraid or a Nuzleaf. I mean, which one would you guys be? Oh, he's leaving this up to me? Oh, shit, I got this cut. Take this, you scurvy scalloway. Oh, we did it, everybody. We beat our first dungeon as a Moltres. Y'all, that might be a world's first. World's first person to ever beat a dungeon as a Moltres in the story. I'm absolutely cracked at this game. Yo, <laughs> why does Moltres look like a professional swimmer? My man really hit the... I hit him with the twister. This whole thing is a big bowl of pastrami macaroni. It don't make any sense. Would you like to go to Nuzleaf's house? No stranger danger! Yes, I've got no choice. Oh, Serene Village. What a throwback. Oh, yeah. We in this jaw now, cuz... <laughs> Meeting! Do you think Nuzleaf's gonna stay as a Remoraid forever? How funny would that be, dude? I just permanently messed up Nuzleaf to be a Remoraid for the rest of it. All right, I was just told not to go outside, so I'm just gonna do the exact opposite and go outside. I've been here for too long! Get me out of here, boy! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's wild. My mind really, really said. How are you doing, fine sir? My name is- ah! Dude, the only thing I can think of now is some woman giving birth with her husband in the room, and then her husband says, what should we name her? And the wife just goes, ah! <laughs> I see, so your booty butt cheeks. What about them? There you are. Oh, that is a war cry if I've ever heard it. There you are. Ah! 
I hope you know I am never going to stop making those screaming jokes. This is too funny. Yep, just a uh, convenient Moltres is just chilling in the middle of Serene Town. That's something you don't see every day, isn't it? Oh, what's this? Two kids minding their own business? I should barge in. Y'all ready for our next dungeon? We're going into another dungeon, baby! Nobody's gonna hear you if you don't speak up. Nobody's gonna know I exist because there's no sprite, dude. Where did the sprite go? I will never not understand why there's just no sprite there. Wait, Gooby? I love Gooby! Yes, I'm going in after Gooby. Dude, I just knocked their balls off. All these people are scared to go in, and I'm just going up here, I'm, and I'm just like, Yo! I'll take that one, Carl. And let there be light. Y'all, I'm too good. I take all these job offers like they are macaroni and cheese. Oh, it's just me and this job now, Carl. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle and your bell. Get out of here, Rudolph. I don't know. Yada, yada. Hey, guys. Oh, they can't move. All I got to do is say two words, and all of a sudden, everybody in the room is frozen. I'm thirsty. How many levels are in the foreboding forest? Because I'm already at level four, bro. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. That must be him. That's right. I am him. Oh, wait. He's talking about Gumi. My bad, G. Oh, we about to get the boot now. Don't kill us, Reverend. I don't want to become fish fingers. First and foremost, I'd like to apologize for the next part. I don't know why my mic was so loud. I guess I'm just a goober. Now that I have the higher graphics in this, it looks like the rescue team DX. Fam, that is a wild thing to say. Imagine being a school teacher and saying, hey everybody, meet booty butt cheeks. I'm the greatest at choosing names, bro. I am literally the greatest at choosing names. Oh, we about to see the iconic tree, bro. We gotta see it. We gotta see it. Oh wait, never mind. We got stopped. That's crazy. Are they gonna seriously throw us into another dungeon? I mean, that's light work. No reaction. On the best spice king around oh yeah this thing i remember this thing this dungeon was easy bro these two goobers hyped it up way too much way too much oh wait this is the first major battle of the of the game after this we're gonna have to re-randomize our pokemon but that's not yet though we still have to beat beat the thing now our only issue is getting in because there's all those dribbles there we gotta make some evasive maneuvers <laughs> Got caught front and center two seconds in. We're too good at this. Oh, I see the stairs. They're right there. Come on. How do we get to the other side? They're literally right there. Up here. Oh, let's go. We're too good. Oh, we can learn a new move. Dubs. Lock on. It ensures you do not miss an attack for a while. Oh, that's a W move. Let's get rid of foreskin to do that. We forgot foreskin and learned lock on. Let's go. How have you survived six attacks? You're going to make me use an orange berry, bro? Absolutely cringe. Not styling. You're wildin'. I'm missing every single attack. This is not good. Hey, but here's the stairs, though. That's a W. I'm going to go on a limb and assume that we got... Uh, Hold on. We got to get that elixir. We also got to get a wonder tile, bro. We are down. We are not up, fam. Oh, let me hit this chug jug, man. Delicioso. As I was saying, I'm going to go... Oh, wait. There's five. Okay. I was going to say I'm going to go on a limb and assume that there's six levels, but I guess we're on five now. Or does the mine continue going? I can't remember if it's a completely different dungeon or not. Oh, it does continue. So my guess still stands. Oh, there's new Pokemon, though. Let's go. And they are strong. What the? I almost just got double tapped. Oh, my goodness. So many orange berries. These are so helpful. My booty butt cheeks leveled up to level six. I got the level six yacht now. We are making our way up there, fam. All right, we found another clink. Let's hope that it's not invincible. All right, it's another invincible one. This thing has taken three, now four flame bursts, and it didn't die. That doesn't make any dollars. No, you get your booty cheeks back here, Numo. You are not going away without a fight. Yeah, you want to square up, bud? That's what I thought. All right, we're here, everybody. We're here. We got a few reviver seeds, a few orange berries, and a jewelry. We're going to make this happen. Oh, fart. It's goodbye. Oh, here we go. All right, let's beat this job. And we have absolutely nothing. Oh, wait. Actually, we do have something helpful. Come up here, boss. Just spam attack. We got this. All right, I missed. Never mind. We're dead. Stop using sand attack. I might as well go and try and win a lottery ticket instead of hitting. He's literally used so many. Oh, wait. I hit. Let's go. I hit again. Ah! We did it. Mm, 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 mm. The fish and the bird have beat up the dragon. That's how it works now. All right. Since we beat the first major battle, it's time to re-randomize our Pokemon. Really? Illumice? Hold on, hold on. Wait, let it cook. He's probably gonna give me, like, the best Pokemon ever now. Oh, I was right. We got Venusaur. Let's go. Not bad at all. Now it's time to see that hill thingy hill. Wow. The most iconic scene in this whole game. Let's go. 
Why does it do that? Why does the animation break so badly? And why does Moltres turn into a professional swimmer, bro? Yo, not gonna lie, this is a throwback, though. Where did they go? They literally just hopped out and left. Bro, Moltres takes I can do this in my sleep to a whole nother level. He for real hitting them with that twister. Oh, no. Oh, nah. He went to get the milk, bro. He left us. He ain't never coming back. So now it's time to figure out how to live on our own. Define a while, booty butt cheeks. That sounds like... Oh, he's still a Remoraid? I thought he'd change into a Venusaur by now. I guess we still a Remoraid until we get the next dungeon. A crowd of kids and then a Moltres and a Remoraid. They're literally sticking out like sore thumbs. But we're doing another dungeon. Let's go. This one's probably one of the easier ones. I never struggled on this one. And hey, if you did struggle on this one, I'm sorry to say, but you're a goober and a dingus and a Level five, Goober. Level five. All right, let's fluff and go. We got this, everybody. Oh, why does Illy Mice look like it has a receding hairline? Now I can't unsee that. At least we got uh the 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 that thing. That thing's cool. Okay, I don't know why the moves haven't changed, cause there's no way um uh, Illy Mice should know Dragon Rage or Flame Burst. That just doesn't work. That's not how the meth works. But I guess we're stuck with it for this dungeon. I'll look into it, now, Roy. I got gotcha. you. Why are we back to it? We're back to a Moltres and a River Raid. All right, who cooked the meth? Who cooked the meth? I want to find out. They did not cook it. Right. Fam did not cook. And now we're back to the original Pokemon. Okay, what in the fart is happening? Ah, ah, funny. Oh, now we're a Venusaur. This is so confusing. Yay, we made it. Wait, where did Gumi go? Ah, who cares? Leave him behind. He was too slow. Ah! We found them. We win. We win. Easy. Yeah. Fem is asking if he's annoying. Yeah. And if I said otherwise, I would be lying, bro. I think you can be. Whoop. Boop. And that, my friends, is how you ruin a Pokemon's day. Dang, bro's going without us? Why's y'all butt hurt about this? Oh, uh, shit. We got another dungeon, yeah? You there. That's right. You. I think that I think it might be the greatest name I've ever chosen. This, this one right here. It's just the greatest name I've ever chosen. And boom, we are in our next dungeon. And in this dungeon, we can actually use the Emera thingies. Just pop one of them in a looplet, and boom, we got a we got we got a power. I don't know what that power is, but I guess we'll find out soon. And for some reason, sometimes if you get too close to them, they'll shatter. So I guess they have like social anxiety or something. I don't know. Is, is that how it works? All right. First of all, let's give these Emeras and looplets to the Pokemon. Ooh, we got a progress device. That's sick. We can save in the dungeon if we need to. Normally, you can't do that. It's like opening your third eye or something. But a Sigma masculine Metro Man Mega Mind male like me doesn't need to save because, well, I'm him. Oh, sick. We leveled up. Let's go. Oh, let's go. We beat it. We're too good. And we got there first. We are literally, literally the best. Where are we hitting the Gwitty? Boom. We're too good. And then I'm gonna make a sick edit out of that. Gee. Who approved of this? Ain't no way, bro. Tell me, Wylan, not styling. Just like Jimmy's mom. Jimmy's mom! Nah, he's zesty with it, bro. He's actually he's absolutely creamy. Are you walking home alone? Where's ah. still the greatest name I've ever chosen? I would call myself a name connoisseur. Alright, in this chapter, we're starting to get to some of the juicy bits. We're seeing the story start to unfold a little bit more. Some of the dungeons are probably gonna be a little less in-depth and more focused on the story now. Oh, he's black! I mean, back! Oh, he's still a Remoraid. I don't understand how I forgot, but I permanently messed up Nuzleaf. So that's it. I messed it up. Me Nuzleaf is a Remoraid. He's asking us about our memories, and nope, we still don't remember anything. I don't think I even showed that in the beginning. In the beginning of the story, the Behem completely wiped our memories from us. Kind of a jerk move if you ask me. Uh-oh. Where is the... Oh, I was about to say Pikachu. I don't know why I was about to say Pikachu. Where's the Venusaur? Big grass dinosaur. Where are you at? Oh, there's a few people here. What's happening? Oh, they're talking about the next major battle coming up soon. We're gonna go and fight a bunch of bees and a queen bee and get some honey. But these people are trying to get honey for that goofy little Badoo right there. Goofy little goober. Because his mom's sick. Al, just get better, honestly. What the? Why is there two of them? Surely hit, dude. Why is there two of them? Oh my goodness, we're messing up all the Pokemon <laughs> so bad. Oh, and here I go telling everybody that I'm a human. Let's see how this one goes. Yeah, they did not take that well at all. They really did not take that well at all. Not at all, Cusco. 
Not at all. And now this thing is over here is calling us a liar. What a goober. Enough of that, though. I think it's about time. We do our next dungeon, Gusko. And in this dungeon, we're able to use alliances. Hold on, John. Let me get to some Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Right here. Perfect example. Now that we're out of Pokemon, first we press the right button. Hold it. Aha, uh -huh. right, right, right. After that, just select a move, and then BOOM! <laughs> Parablast is no more. I all of a sudden feel like a radio announcer talking. My voice just deepened like tenfold. Either that or my balls drop. I'd rather it be the other one. All right, my friends, it is time for the next battle. This one's gonna be brutal. Look at poor little Badoo there. He doesn't know what's coming for him. <laughs> Two! B drills. What's the poor little Badoo gonna do about that? Time for our next battle, everybody. First of all, I gotta use an uh, I uh, yeah. Petrify everybody in the room. Oh wait, Flame Burst does area damage? Yah! By killing the combi, we're also killing the B drill next to it. That is absolute flames the Bron James born like Michael Jordan. I gotta use an orange berry. Funny number! First combi is down. Oh, the B drill's down! Oh my goodness, we might have this in the bag! Oh, we got the next one down! We beat those Johns up like they were macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese. Why would I beat up macaroni and cheese? Who beat up the macaroni and cheese? Who cooked? Ah! Vespaquin. And just like that, by beating up every single staff worker here, we was able to get ourselves some fresh McDonald's. So next time you go, so next time you go to Jack in the Box, but you don't have a dollar in your pocket, just beat them up. Then boom, free food for the rest of your life, yeah. And just like that, it's time to randomize our Pokemon again. Oh man, I really hope that I don't get grout on. RNG gods, I hope you catch my drift. Let's Let's roll this John. Greninja! Oh, that's actually really good! But because it's a starter, and starters are so easy to get, you can't you you can only get you get starters handed to you. I haven't taken up all the luck yet, so that means that I'm still gonna get that grout on. Oh, taking all Zelf. It's not very good, but it's cool. Clickbait. Oh, how cool is that? We're on top of the hill. And a girl got her girl back. Oh, we just became... Uh, uh, ah! We became his friend. Let's flick and go. And now he's giving us these harmony scarves. I don't know what they do, but they do something. I know that for a fact. I remember when I played the game. I mean, oops, spoiler alert. You guys just got spoiled. Haha. -ha. Wait, there's no models for the harmony scarf? So it doesn't even put it on. Unless it's the ghost harmony scarf. The spirit of the tree of life. You'll understand understand that later in the story. Don't you worry, baby girl. Oh, look at this. It's the ocean. Wow. It's Nuzleaf! They multiplied! Dang, Nuzleaf must have been busy. What's happening here? That looks like a booty. Now it looks like a carpet. What happened? What happened to Waylord? Oh, flick my Johnson. He's been turned to stone. Give me an old yank on the baby maker, bro. What happened to him? My man looked at Medusa for too long. Oh, it's Ampharos. Yes, Ampharos. This guy's one of my favorite characters. I remember him the most from this whole game. Mostly because he's a goofy goober. And everybody likes a goofy goober. In this chapter, we're finally becoming expedition members. Just like my man ah, has been raving about. All he wants to do is become an expedition. So yeah, let's get on with it, bye. There's the old grass dinosaur. I don't understand why they don't change back instantly. Like, I've applied the code to turn it into a Greninja and a Zell. So that's a big goofing, if you ask me. Ah, oh, the goofy goober. He's goobering and goofing around. <laughs> yeah, Ampharos is a bit of a goofy goober, if you ask me. All right, let's go looking for this man. All right, and now it's time to find Ampharos in the dungeon. Went down to level seven. What kind of racism is that? But hey, our moves finally changed. That's a W. And I'm running this at 200 speed. So now it looks like 600 million bajillion FPS. Getting a $9,000 PC just to play Club Penguin. And boom, we made it. That dungeon went by quick, honestly. But why do we keep why do we keep changing back into a Venusaur and a whatever it's called? I've I already forgot. It's honestly kind of crazy. Oh, we gotta take on three of them. Yeah, I got this guy. It's been like two seconds, but we're already at the next major battle, bro. And we're back to Greninja. That's crazy. First thing I'm gonna do is a totter orb. Now get your booty cheeks over here, boy. Now we just keep spamming grass. Now they're actually a thunderbolt more effective. Oh, yeah, we've been using that one. We already got two of them down, bro. We got this easy. Dude, this was so easy. I was scared most for this battle, and yet it was the easiest one yet. Honestly, kind of racist, not gonna lie. Yay, Ampharos. And now we get to give the man his connection orb. Let's go. Happy endings to go all around. And now we're getting offered a job at the Expedition Society. This is too good, dude. This might as well be a dream, cuh. And just like that, 
We're Expedition Society members. We're too good. But because we're a rescue team, now we gotta choose a name. I'm gonna choose the best name ever. Like I said, I'm a name connoisseur. I chose names like Booty Butt Cheeks and ah! So I'm gonna choose a banger for this one. The Two Yas, spelled with an M. Don't ask where that M goes. I don't know either. The Two Yas, yeah, the Two Yas. Yes, the Two Yas, just like the Two Yas. And now that we are brand new members, we have the O. Oh. Where did it go? Where'd that goofy goober go? We gotta find where those dinguses went off to. You'll know what I mean in just a second. Ampharos, help us out! Alright, now that we're members, we can use our connection orbs and expedition gadgets and duh, dung. Yo, yeah, I know how to speak. How could you tell? We got a world map with all of the dungeons that we've been to. We got the main man himself, the connection orb, so that we can see Pokemon that need help, I guess. And then when we find one that does, we can just click on it. Now we can accept the request. And then finally, we got the expedition list, because sometimes you say yes to too many things, and then it becomes a bother, and then you gotta sort through all those, and then you gotta have the burden of doing all those so things. it's very convenient. Oh, far, we gotta do a request? Oh, let's flick it go. We're a brand new expedition society member, so now we get to do the request. That's awesome. And now we're gonna start saving people's booty cheeks. All right. This one should be it. I remember on the dungeon request it said six floors. So now all we gotta do is just look for Sylveon. Anybody home? Anybody in here? Oh, there is somebody in here. It's a Sylveon. Yay! We found it! And that, my friends, is how expeditions work. And pretty much every single Pokemon in existence is going to need help at some point. So just let that sink in. Oh, my bad, Ja. I'll let that sink in. Yeah! Oh my goodness, it's been forever since I've seen this screen. And for us, we did it! Are you proud of us? Oh, shit, Ja, we're connected now. Now we can use Sylveon in our dungeon. So when we're going on expeditions or dungeons, we're able to have Sylveon as a team member. How cool is that? Tell me that isn't the most scrum diddly dumptious you've ever seen in your little life. My grammar is impeccable. Allow me to rephrase, Ja. Tell me that isn't the most delicious and scrumptious and delectable thing you've ever seen in your life. I, that's still not how the grammar works. That's not how the math works. Who cooked? Who cooked the math? It was you! You cooked it. You did a horrible job. All right, fam. It's time to see what connections lie in our connection or. But before I do that, I gotta take a Scooby sip of my Scooby soda. Give me a second, Jack. And before you bore yourselves asking what the Scooby soda is, it's that agua fresca, as 3FS would say. That H2O. That W2O. Because we all know that water is the GOAT! Alright, let's get this, Jaja. -ja. Let's get this, Kaka. -ka. Oh, how cool is this? We can have a third member on our team! And now, let's get this, Kaja. -ja. Let's get this, Jaka. -ja. Let's get this, Kaka. -ka. And now, we can change our Pokemon as well, so we can change the leader. So, I want to lead Sylveon right now. And look, we're fully controlling it! So, if you ever wanted to be a Sylveon yourself... Wait, that sounds wrong. You get my point, Ka. We made it to the floor where... Vulpix's treasure is at. So with this request, this this Vulpix was a dingus and they left their treasure here. You ever go to the store and then you set something down on the shelf and then you leave it there? So let's go and find Vulpix's treasure. All right, as you can see on the mini map, there's three ways to go and I'm gonna choose that one. Oh, wait, you can't see it. Oh, I'm a goober. <laughs> oh, oh, wow! We found it. Let's flicking go. Oh, the good old Remoraid's asking us something. Uh-oh, we're gonna get to talk about the birds and the bees. Avert your eyes, Greninja. You're not gonna like it. Remoraid's just gonna leave us and go and get the milk and never come back. We're chilling. We're chilling. I forgot Pancham turned into an Illumice now. I kind of want to change that, though. How do I change it back? I don't like Illumice. It has a receding hairline. It also looks like it's wearing overalls. Oh, it looks like it's wearing overalls. I'm never gonna be able to look at Illumice the same way again. I mean, it was never good to begin with, so I guess we're fine. It's time for another expedition. Oh, fart. This is the hard expedition. We have to beat up a Salamence, and it's like level 15, and it has like a million bajillion HP. Okay, I would go through those stairs, but there's a big beefy Salamence behind them, and he probably knows how to armor us. So I'm gonna explore the whole dungeon, see if there isn't any little doohickeys I missed. Never mind, there's no doohickeys I can find. Oh, fart. Oh, holy fart. We're, we're in this now. Items. This thing has like 80 health. Okay, that was good. That was good. Stop taking all my reviver seeds, Vulpix. Stop being a goober and stop being a goober. I miss! Ah! Go and fart on your own scrotum. Now we got to do all that again. All right, we're back. We're black. And this time, I've got doohickeys. I've got little goobers that I can use. Oh, we're actually getting so far. We've hit so many times. Why didn't I bring the orbs before? I have a feeling that he's going to be dying pretty soon. How much health does this guy have? Oh, we woke up. Oh, ah! We did it! We made it! And now it's time for a celebratory Scooby sip of my Scooby soda. Taking a celebratory Scooby sip of Scooby soda tastes really scooping good after scooping up a little Salamence. Little Scooby. I hope you know I'm going to be spamming Salamence on my teams. 
He's just that good. Oh, we getting into the story. Let's go. Yay, we're eating. What is that? That's apples, apples, some apples, and ooh, an apple. Wait, I wonder what it's like in this guy's house. Because I feel like this isn't what it actually looks like. Now I'm so curious. Dude, Pancham, turn back into a Pancham, please. Also, I no longer want to be in the Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon world. Look at what this guy's saying. It's crazy hot. I cannot handle the heat. As I say while wearing a flicking beanie. Okay, dude. Aside from that, though, I'm genuinely curious to see what Caracosta's home looks like. Can I even go inside it? Oh, I can. Dang, what kind of a mansion you got in here, boy? Look at this thing. It's like a castle. At least compared to my house, are those gems? They look tasty. The forbidden snack. All right, enough of that. Onward with ye expedition. <laughs> Let's go. And obviously, he did nothing important except get us food. I mean, actually, food is really important. I like food. Do you guys like food? I like food. Let's go, summer vacation! Oh, it's Ampharos again. Is he going off to another dungeon that he's gonna not be able to save himself in? Oh, no, he's leaving? Nah, that's crazy. Oh, it's the receding hairline in the grass dinosaur. Considering we were literally just playing as Illumice and Venusaur, this feels like two alternate reality selves looking at each other. Or, or, that scene in the show Peabody and Sherman. Here, I'll play it right now. It's, and it's like... <laughs> a lot of energy right now. I don't know if you could tell. There's rumors going around on school. Rumors about ghosts. I knew there was a ghost here somewhere. A voice in the classroom saying, it's so hot. I mean, dang, at least he can feel us. He'll feel our pain. Well, I don't think any ghosts can do any harm to us, so I guess we're just gonna continue on. Oh, fart, I guess we're gonna do something about it. Or somebody else is gonna do something about it. Ah, 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 it's the brat. Uh-oh. What was that? So hot. Oh, it's the ghost that the kids were talking about. He's gonna get fed a bowl of TikTok ramen noodles that'll make your butthole cry. And then he's gonna go viral on TikTok. No! Don't feed him the ramen! Ah! Avert your eyes, children. This is too rated R for you. I guess the news is spreading that Watchhog was taken. Or, I guess, taken. Yeah, taken. Taken. He was taken. I think he was taken. Possibly. Oh, no, he wasn't taken. My mad. He was just knocked out by that goofy little goober. But that still doesn't explain what said goofy little goober is. Quite the interesting activity. Oh, fart. Something's happening. Things just keep on happening. Oh, no, it's gonna get... It's gonna be Audino this time. Oh, Farfetch'd is here as well. Yeah, before I continue, guys, I'd like to talk about the sponsor of this video. Peep this donut eating. Uh -huh. You guys eat your donuts upside down or with a kitchen knife? Farfetch doesn't know about the rumors of the ghost, and he's all shocked. What did he think Watchhog did? <laughs> I spoke actual words just then, but the only issue is, as I was about to repeat them, I forgot. So anyway, the ghost is about to get Ardino's butt cheek. Oh, wait, no, it's gonna be far-fetched this time. Oh, he's not there. He's gone. Yep. He's dead. I'll make the, the the funeral stuff. I guess news spread about Mr. Farfetch'd at the school. Plot twist, this ghost was mad that summer break happened and he wanted to get all the kids back in school because they're stupid. Oh, we're learning more things about it. He was being dragged by some goofy little flame by the head while knocked unconscious. Or he was just sleeping and having a really lucid sleepwalking experience. Like he was having a lucid dream, but he's also a sleepwalker. So when he floats down the river on a mattress, like somebody played a prank, prank on him, then it's like his mind creates stuff that makes him float down the river as well. Wait, what happens when he goes off the edge of the waterfall? Oh, that's probably why they're taking him. They're taking him to the waterfall to get to that point of the dream. Oh, I got you. I got you. Wait, where did I go? Oh, there he is. Oh, wait, they came from the other side. And they found Mr. Farfetch. He was just chilling on the beach. Why is everybody making a big fuss about it? He just needed a beach day. Okay, this whole ordeal is kind of closing up now. Pretty much everybody's saying no harm has been done yet. Let's just not go to the school so we can keep it that way. What does Shelmet want? Oh, Pancham's got some news. This can't be good. I guess we're gonna go and hear what Shelmet has to say. Let's hope that this isn't that bad. We're supposed to sneak into the school? We were literally told not to go in the school because there's a ghost with blue flames trying to eat our booty cheeks. That's literally a recipe for disaster. I'm gonna be completely honest. Ghost hunting doesn't sound that bad. Sounds like a good time. I mean, I'm into all the haunted houses and stuff, so that's no surprise. All right, it's time to go in the school. And we're trying to figure out how to get out without getting caught. Dude, this is like high school. I don't know why it's like high school, but I'm just gonna assume it's like high school. We made it. And yet there's no ah! to be seen. Oh, he's petrified. He's on the other side. And now it's time to start the ghost hunting expedition where we find out where Abraham Lincoln shaved his nutsack. Uh-oh. 
Somebody getting their booty butt cheeks ripped off. Oh, they're getting the boot to their balls right now. They're about to get it. Ah! Oh, they're killing him. They're killing him. He's gone. He's gone. Ah! Here a Tina. They took Esper, Iliomice, and Venusaur. Or wait, Panchim and Shulman. I'm a dingus. But where did they take them off to? Oh, wait, they didn't take Esper. Yay. Oh, the shadow's gone. And the flames took away the goobers. And they took them into here. What is this place? It's called the Ancient Barrow. Look at that stuff that's coming out of there. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's another dungeon. This isn't going to be like one of those short dungeons that we have to go through all the levels. But it's okay because we have like five people on our team. Wait, so I saw the shadow of Giratina alongside those blue flames. Does that mean that I'm gonna have to fight Giratina this early into the game? I'm only level 13. I'm not gonna stand a chance. I'm gonna be like an ant to him. And you know what you can do with ants. You can literally just grab them and go like... That's literally gonna happen to me. He's gonna take me and he's gonna go... Wait, what the fart? I can't re I can't restore HP. I just used two orange berries and I didn't restore a single HP. Holy Flintstones, dude. This better not be permanent. I I'm losing health. I'm gonna die! Oh, I'm dead! Oh! Oh, how cool! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And here are the stairs. Let's go! We just got heal blocked again. Are you flaking serious? I'm about to take a stick of DDR4 RAM and stick it in a high-end PC. Are you flicking me? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm paralyzed. Oh, fart. I had an idea for a joke, but I forgot what joke that was. I'm really the joke here. Oh, cutscene. Never mind. It wasn't a cutscene. It was just a dumb rest point. So that means that we're only halfway through. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Oh, yeah. Look at this. We're running this at like... <laughs> we're running this at 500 FPS. This is literally so smooth. What the? We're actually running Pokemon Mystery Dungeon at a million FPS. Ah! Now I don't know if I want to go back. Look at how fast he's flapping his wings. Oh, and just like that, we made it. Oh, this is the room. It is time to do our next battle. Wait, we can hear Pancham and Shelmet. Giratina. Oh, no, we're actually going to have to be Giratina. Oh, no. These are only the sidekicks. Who's the main way? Who's the main man? Ah! Oh, fart. It's Giratina, the Dark Land Emissary. And now it's time to beat him up. So if we look in this item bag right here, we have some blast seeds. 100 damage. Oh my goodness, yes. We gotta use all of those. If he doesn't die then, we're screwed. Oh, we actually beat him. Yes. Now we just gotta get the Litwick. We beat the first Litwick. The other Litwick faked it. We beat them all. No flicking way. We beat a Giratina. How is that possible? Solosis? Let's just talk about Solosis. He's crying. It wasn't even a Giratina. Nah, nah, that's too much tomfoolery. That's too much trolling. I will not let myself be tomfooled that much. And he's actually like a little kid. He's crying over this. What kind of a prank even is this? Us Litwick are on a journey to try and scare all the Pokemon of this world. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait, it's how they get food and energy. Well, that's a weird energy source. I mean, Mr. Small eats sunlight, though. So all this was a whole lot of shulbin. How dumb. And everybody went home and went to sleep safe and sound. Never mind. Oh, we are getting the lip bit on our lip bit on our lip. It's not even Remoraid punishing us. It's just Caracosta. What a, 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 you're a meanie. Nobody likes a meanie. You're a meanie. You guys probably know the drill by now. Let's re-randomize our Pokemon. Our first Pokemon is Onyx. That's interesting. I've never used one of the extra large Pokemon before. Flicking way! Hold on! Is that real? We just beat up Giratina, and then we got Giratina! Oh, on the turntables! So sleepy. Imagine being sleepy, bro. You just gotta take a Scooby sip of your Scooby soda. Let me take a sip of mine. Bro, you take a sip of that Scooby soda, it'll fill you right up. This is a bottle of ketchup.
Now, which one of you goobers replaced my water bottle with a ketchup bottle? I'm gonna find you, and I'm gonna slap your booty cheeks. Oh, yeah, we're probably tired from all the lecturing we got from that Caracosta guy last night. Because we snuck out, and then we went into a dungeon, and then we beat up Giratina. We beat Giratina. Now, that's honestly wild. Let's see how- ah! is doing. He's not doing good at all. Well, I mean, what do we expect? He literally fell asleep while we, we were getting the lectures. Oh, he cleaned in the whole house and that house was a castle. We already saw it. Oh, I bet you that's fun. Yeah, he's cleaning the house all day. He's not even gonna be able to go on an expedition with us. And that, kid is why you don't go to McDonald's. Wait, but who's uh, who's gonna go on the dungeons with us? Oh, we get to choose! It's like a Mr. Beast video for real. Okay, okay, hear me out. You know how we've been getting all the Pokemon Pokemon changed and stuck forever. Imagine if we changed Pancham again. Oh, no, I'm choosing Pancham. I'm gonna choose him. Dude, that's gonna look so funny. What in the flingus bingus bajingus? Why is Onyx over there? Holy Flintstones, what the fart is going on? I had no idea that when you chose multiple extra large Pokemon, that they would just spawn in different areas of the room. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be awful. This is so chaotic. Maybe rolling two big Pokemon wasn't the move. I mean, like I had a choice. But the RNG seriously wasn't on my side. This is so chaotic. All right, well, we finished the expedition and we connected with Dragonite. No, what the? What are they doing? This turned into the fandom real quick. What the fart, dude? Rumor really doesn't care about expeditions. Meanwhile, Karakost is literally biting out because he likes going on adventures. That is kind of racist. And Nuzleaf wants to go to Revelation Mountain. What's that? What is that? Oh my goodness, pixels! Minecraft! We aren't supposed to go there, but it's a mountain. Man see rock, he climb rock. That's how it works. So it's off limits, and Remoraid wants to know why it's off limits. Okay, okay, I got you, Remoraid, I got you. But curiosity killed the cat. It's a good thing Remoraid isn't a cat. Oh, what the fart? How are we fitting through right now? Oh, it's Pelican. And he's gone. So Pelipper means that something's going on. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's Pokemon turning into stone? Wait, that's like what we saw with the Waylord. Dude, all these Lego pieces are starting to click. And yet nobody knows why. And now we're a Giratina. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm gonna be completely honest. This is way more bearable than I thought it was. The hitboxes are still the same. What does Nuzleaf need? Oh, my bad. Remoraid, Remoraid. That species is of me. Is that even a word? Oh, we gotta keep quiet. Y'all better shut your Yo, booty holes. I've just got a little something to run by you two. All right, this way. Uh-oh, this be suspicious. What about Revelation Mountain? Wait, Revelation Mountain has something to do with my booty butt cheeks? Ain't no farting way. So we're going up Revelation Mountain, some sacred place that we've been concealing for like three seconds, and it has something to do with me. Let me take a Scooby sip of my Scooby soda. This is a whole lot of barbecue bacon burger, if you ask me. So Revelation Mountain has a connection to why my man is a Pokemon. All right, we going up to Revelation Mountain. Let's get this, boys. Oh, that's right. We got to get past this barrier as well. Okay, realistically speaking, how in the fart does this man not even see me? I'm like, I want to say three miles tall. Oh, Remoraid's going up. He's gonna riz him up. Let's see that gear riz. Skibbity toilet. I don't know what I'm saying. And there he goes. Let's go. Absolutely got that man's booty cheeks. And here we go up Revelation Mountain. Why do I always spawn in the room with the uh, Onyx literally always spawns in the room with the stairs. I mean, it's kind of convenient. I won't lie. It's like a guiding wand every time we go in a new room. Oh, we are in business now. The moves are doing like a million bajillion damage. The ones from Giratina, at least. And we run into this at 60 million bajillion FPS as well. Oh, we are cooking. Is that the end of the dungeon already? It's been eight levels. I was expecting there to be at least 16. Oh, fart. It's the sheriff. It's the bee drill. It's all the goofy goobers that we've beat up. I guess there's an extra sense of security, not just one little goober guarding the gate. Nuzleaf didn't even plan this out, the goober. Wait, but why is he a normal Nuzleaf now? Did we change him back? Oh, no fart and way. We actually, fi we fixed him. But yeah, there were too many eyes watching the place. We couldn't get in there. So I guess Revelation Mountain was a bust. I guess we couldn't learn anything at Revelation Mountain after all. Maybe it's for the better. Why? I don't think there's anything up there. It's just a mountain. Why did I become a Pokemon? I couldn't tell you. I think we just gotta stay a little longer. If we got sent, we could probably get taken back just as easy. We gotta enjoy our time while it lasts. Oh, that's right, the Bahiam, or what I, however they're pronounced. Those dinguses were on us, so we might actually have to leave the village.
There's some creepy stuff happening around the village. Suspicious Pokemon. The Bahia! Right as we were talking about it, they arrived. They've got big heads. There's three of them. That's them. I'm no politician. They were staring at Badoo. That's some feel. They're literally describing the Bahia right now. That's terrifying. So yeah, we definitely got to leave this place, Joe. If we stay, then they'll probably wipe the memories of everybody else as well. But enough of that. Let's talk about the sponsor of this video, this expedition. After all those expeditions, I think it's time we leave this village. Go and branch out like a YouTuber. Wait, are we gonna be leaving without Onyx? Without the big boy? Oh, I guess not, considering that look on his face. Yep, he's just gonna go with us. All right, that's that, I guess. What do you mean you've been wanting to get out of this silly old village? You've lived here your whole life. He just changed up his attitude like that. I don't even get a say on anything. He's just making us leave. I didn't even say I wanted to leave. Did I? I don't know. We don't want nobody else to think about us, though, because I don't know why, so we sneaking out for today. No goodbyes, no nothing, because that's what the cool kids do. Let's get out of this job. But before we leave, we gotta do the special thingy, the special, special thing. Get him one last good Good look at the village. Cause this is the last look we're ever gonna get. But you know what? That's all right. Hold up. That's another Onyx. Oh, it's everybody. How'd they know we were leaving? Man, they all knew. We are really bad at hiding these things. Bro, literally everybody in the village knew we were leaving. How are we that bad at it? And everybody be giving us their farewell. Well, how cool is that? Sayonara, suckers. We're going to the Expedition Society, fam. <laughs> Well, would you look at that? This cliff is crazy right here. Wouldn't want to fall off that one. But this is the only way to Lively Town, so we're going to have to go through it. I'm sure we'll be fine, though. It's only a sheer mountain range that will kill you if you fall off of it. But it's chill, though. We're flying. We're chill. Okay, but there is an advantage to being tall. Because, look, I'm like two tiles away. I can still hit him. Hey, I never saw that coming, cuz. Catch him by the surprise while they're in there sleeping. Tickle their feet. Okay, bro. Dude, these stairs, they just play in hide and seek, bro. This is extreme hide and seek on Roblox. I don't want to play hide and seek. I want to play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Please, bro, fart on your own scrotum. Oh, let's go. We made it to the end, but it's nighttime out. Probably best we spend the night here. I think we made it over that big mountain by now. Oh, surely. Dude, that dungeon was like 17 levels. All right, I think we're going to make it to the Expedition Society tomorrow. Let's get this. Just one more dungeon to go. This one looks pretty. Whoa, there's two of them. Wait, but Onyx is over there, and they're here. Wait, that's confusing. Oh, far away. I'm a goober. They're both enemies. I can take on two big boys at the same time. We've made it pretty far into this gentle slope cave, and we've made it out. Oh my goodness, it's Lively Town! Lo and behold, the town of liveliness. We made it, everybody. It's the big city. It's like New York City. It's like LA, except people actually look like they have a soul. <laughs> Well, this is really it. All right, let's go ask around and see if this is actually Lively Town or a scam made by the government. You there. You, ma'am. Oh, she didn't like being called ma'am. Is this Lively Town? Yes, it is. Let's go! All right, where to first? We should go to one of the shops and buy some stuff. Oh, bully, crackhead, an addict. Oh, I'm gonna have to censor that. My bad, bro. Oh, who is this dude? Oh, it's Kronk from the Emperor's New Groove. No crook would openly admit not only their name, but the fact that they're a crook. This guy's either a rookie or he enjoys Starbucks. Oh, who's that? Running right through us as we're in the middle of a debate. Oh, fart! There's more of them! Absolutely got stampeded by those Johns. I'm asking the same thing, Croc Rock. Yeah, he gave up. L. Well, now that that's down the drain, it's time to find the Expedition Society, fam. Let's try looking up here. Oh, fart, it's right, it's right there. They got a big telescope and some big amethyst blocks from the geode in Minecraft. Oh, my word. We about to, we about to be eating big time. Yo, guess what I got? $15 Taco Bell de Grando Nache. This is the Expedition Society. I don't think it's the Expedition Society. Let's keep looking. Hello, anybody home? Oh, there's a, um, no, oh, what's that? It's an apple. I'll bet you on my nutsack they're upstairs. Oh, I knew it. What the fart? The Pokemon Nexus. Whoa. What is that? Oh, it's like the connection orb, but big. Oh, fart, here comes the riders. They're going straight for the Pokemon Nexus. 
Oh no, he struck the Nexus. Houston, we've got a problem. Oh, so Swirlix ate all the food and they ain't got no food. And when you don't got food, you die. So eat your green beans, kids. What brings us here today? We want to join your team. Oh no, he can't help us out. I thought we were friends, Buizel. Oh, it's the chief's decision. That still doesn't answer my question. Who is the chief here? <laughs> I need to know. Ephros? So he lied. He lied earlier saying that he wasn't part of the Expedition Society. What a goober. Wow. And we get accepted just like that. Okay, we're fine now, Chief. Wow, look at that. That was quick. It's Buizel, an Archin, and a mouse, and a rabbit, and a gluttonous fiend. There's one more member? I guess we'll just have to meet him later. Well, dang, dude, we did it. No effort at all. I mean, other than the effort of getting here, we joined the Expedition Society. Now, that's quite cool. Oh, yeah, we broke the Nexus yesterday. That was a funny ordeal. Wait, doesn't that mean that all of the data from it is gone? Again? So this happens often. It happens all the time. Well, that's a bit weird. Jirachi? Wait, who is that again? Not me googling what it is. Ah, he, ah, ooh, ah, he, ah. Oh, that thing. So they just have Jirachi working for them. That's cool. I have a little favor to ask you two. I'm all ears, Ampharos. We're gonna wake up Jirachi. <coughs> My man sleeps like a rock. And we're the water, so we're gonna pour the water on him, and then we're gonna turn him into a nuclear explosion. Let's go get this job. Oh, clean place you've got up here. Oh, it's kind of cute, though. Oh, it's the man and man himself. Oh, he's sleeping. How is he making out full dialogue while still being asleep? That doesn't make any dollars. Oh, wait, fart. What? That was a bit unexpected to say in the least. It's okay, though. We chilling. Watch this. One attack. One pump man. One punch man. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Too easy. Not a struggle at all, bro. Give me a challenge next time. Oh, he was in like some subconscious state when he was talking to us. He doesn't even remember us. Wait, 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 wait. Chill, chill. Don't go to sleep, bro. It's the sleepover. You know what's gonna happen. John's gonna prank you. I'll fix it by tomorrow. This man's just a genius, ain't he? And as for us, we're just getting started on our work. Pretty much just the exact same expeditions we've been doing before. But before we can get to all that, we gotta re-randomize our Pokemon, bro. You guys know the drill by now. Let's spin our Pokemon. Here's a can of 7-Up. First Pokemon's Jigglypuff. It's not looking good for us. Oh, but the second Pokemon's Grovile. Not too bad. Oh, fam. This is weird considering we've been using the other team for so long. Feels like it's been an eternity. I will admit, though, this is significantly more bearable than the other set of Pokemon. I like this feel a lot more. Oh, the thing got fixed. I forgot what it's called. Wait, but where's the big Globo thingy that goes... <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Wait, it's our turn for what? We're mapping the whole entire globo? Dude, mapping the whole world? Like, the world's at least three feet long. That's gonna be so hard to do. I guess we just became the new map designers, bro. And after we've done a bunch of expeditions in a new place, all we gotta do is click it into this big goofy thing that doesn't have the... Whoa! Where'd that come from? Well, that was cool. Why hasn't Onyx changed yet? But now it's time to do the same thing over and over again. And I know you guys don't want to see that, so let's just get to the juicy bits. The juicy, tender chicken filet from Chick-fil-A and McDonald's. They collabed. Sponsored by Tony Hawk and the Olympics and the stuff. Yeah. Uh-oh, it's Crocker Rock. Why is he talking all happy? He literally just mugged us. Yes, we know your name, Goober. Oh, of course, he transitions it to money. Weasel! Help us! Dude, he looks like a plushie from over here. Oh, there's no way Crocorock's staying around with Weasel here, bro. Yeah, run off, you little goober. Go! Get! Oh, it's Joe Mama. Dude, that's literally blackmail. Wait, that's what blackmail is, right? Dang, Crocodile, that's like going up to the president and saying big block of cheese next to boiled up men. Well, they like black men. I mean, blackmail. I mean, men. So, Crocorock's all bark and no bite. Meanwhile, Crocodile's a lot of bite and a lot of bark. Just like a tree, except the tree can't bite you. Archim, we never see you around the town. You're not wrong. Archim really isn't anywhere, anywhere, anytime, everywhere. Get glad. The thought I was out. Oh, man, I was trying to think up something funny, but I just wasn't cooking. Where do you always go on explorations? Across the sea? Like he flies? I can't actually fly myself up. Oh.
I've been living a lie, fam. He's a bird, but he isn't birding. Using the Lapras Travel Liner. It's like a cruise ship, but a Pokemon, and not a cruise ship, and can only hit fit like two people. Oh, and we're gonna get to go tomorrow. That's exciting. I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight. I'm gonna be going in my bed, and I'm gonna just be like... I scream because I can't sleep. You guys scream when you can't sleep, right? If I can't sleep, nobody can. But enough of that. We have to sleep well so we can get on that travel liner and go across the sea. Shall we make for the harbor? We shall, Archon. I'm not quite sure where this harbor is, but we'll figure it out. Teamwork makes the dream work, huh? Aha! I found it. Hello, Lapras. Taking the kids out? I ain't nobody's kids. I'm my own kids. Wait. Wait, Latios and Latias. What are they doing up here? I can't keep going. They've been flying for a while. Time travel lake. You guys, remember that. That's probably going to be important. But enough of that remembering. We're out in the middle of sea. Dang, dude. That's a lot of windmilly willies. Well, we made it to the air continent. I don't know why, but this is apparently ruining our first trip according to Archim, but we're gonna have at least one expedition. What a buzzkill. We barely even got to the gate. Man, that gate is almost as gay as you are, Archim. <laughs> ah! Gay spotted. Um, I never thought I'd get this far. I don't know what to do. That sounds terrifying. I know, bruh. We just got here and we're already going back. Oh, wait, they're talking about something else. Oh, more reports of Pokemon being turned to stone? That was happening back in Serene Village. Pokemon is showing up rock solid. Wow. A flaming phantom near all the Pokemon that have turned to stone. And only legendary and mythical Pokemon are being targeted. Wait! They're targeting all the legendary and mythical Pokemon so that we have no defense. It's like calling the 911, but the 911 doesn't pick up. Something just crashed down there, bro. What was that? And it's coming from the mystical forest. They were just talking about that. But as members of the Expedition Society, we gotta go investigate. I gotta find out what that was. Hold up, guys. This is lots of process. Let me take a skip of my Scooby Soda. Catch up again! Bright boy, bye, boom, guy boy, being type blue, right back, by type baby bubble. Hold up, sorry, I spoke a foreign language. I'm getting that nerve treatment like Mr. Small. Alright, I think we've come pretty far in. There's something over here, though. Oh my word. Oh my Flintstone gummies. Oh my word. It's Latios. They were literally just flying and then they got turned into stone. They got turned to stone midair. That's why they were falling. My man is right. This is only Latios. We got to find the other one. There she is. So they both got turned to stone. Uh oh. It's the guy that turned him to stone. It's Entei. So Entei was turning everybody to stone. Are we going to be fighting Entei? This is a horrible type matchup. Oh, I don't think so. Archie has come to save the day. Somehow. If Celebi is here, then my presence serves no purpose. I feel like that's important, but I don't pay enough attention to realize why it is. And he's gone. Well, that was cool. And after that, everybody went home safe and sound and went right to sleep. Quite an interesting turn of events. But it really does make you wonder why Pokemon are being turned to stone. And are they going to be able to even come back? I really don't know. The 
time has come for our big outing? Is this like some annual thing? We'll be departing two days. I don't know where we're departing, but I guess we're going on an outing. That's cool. Listen up, everybody. I'm listening to Dene. Tomorrow is finally the day for our big trip. I forgot about that already. I've seriously got a case of Joe Biden syndrome, bro. I still don't really know where we're going, though, so that's a bit off-putting. Maybe it'll have something to do with all the Pokemon turning to stone. Or maybe even something to do with the fact that I'm a Pokemon. Same here, fam. Same here. All that aside, hopefully it'll be a fun time. Today's the day of the trip! Have you made our preparations? Um, preparations? Nobody else has gotten prepared as well. Well, that's just a slight delay. Let's get ourselves ready. What all do I need to get ready? Of course, I need to put my items away. The useless ones, at least. And of course, let's get ourselves some money. We have a treasure box here. Why don't we open that up? All right, what's inside it? Oh, it's a gold bar. Nice. We could buy a few more reviver seeds. And I think we're good. Let's just go and notify Dedena and we can leave. Now it's time to finally figure out where we're going off to. Bye, Jirachi. Bye, Dedene. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, how's this gonna work out? There is no way in Jose that we are fitting on that thing. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work out. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to make like those front flipping competitions where people will just go on and they're just like, meow, 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 and then they fall over like, Wah! Oh, we made it. I'm asking the same question, fam. This looks like a bunch of rocks holding hands, if you ask me. Fire Island. I have a feeling this has something to do with that Entei we saw earlier. So our destination is at the peak of that volcano. I still have no clue why we're even going up there. Oh, no. This is not a good matchup for me. It's all fire-type Pokemon. We'll see what we can do, though. And if we're in that dire of a situation, we've got Weasel. Looks like it opens up a bit over there. Let's get on over there then. Oh no, this looks like a boss battle arena if I've ever seen one. I knew it. Oh, I thought it was Entei. It's just a Magmortar. We're chilling, y'all. Oh no. There's a whole five of them. Nah, bro. We outnumbered and flustered. Do I have any items? I don't. Oh man. It's just time to go for brute force. First Magmortar is down. Next Magmar is down. Now there's only one more. But this is the big boy. Oh, that was easy. Boom. Oh, we made it to the peak. Now we might figure out why we came here. I still have no clue. It did say something about that. My guess would that be the Entei we saw earlier. I knew it. Are we gonna have to beat him up as well? Oh, we're getting the boot this time. Yeah, Weasel stood no chance. Ego lifting at its finest, y'all. Ah! Oh, now we're gonna have to beat him up. I haven't even re-randomized the Pokemon, bro. I guess we're. Re I guess we got no choice. And I don't got any moves, so I guess we're just gonna have to brute force it again. Boom! Oh, fart! This guy's got a lot of health. It just ended like that. Oh my goodness. Oh, far. I'm dying. This is it. Goodbye, y'all. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Whoa. What was that? We're glowing. We're both glowing. the scarfs whoa colors dopamine youtube shorts tiktok he turned into a septile and a bunny rabbit yo that's fire flames lebron james born like michael jordan so i guess you just evolve randomly and then you yeah that's it we're gonna be op in the rest of the story Entei better be scared we're fire flames lebron james now gonna absolutely tokyo drift on this man oh 
All right, time for round two, baby girl. Watch this. Now that we're mega evolved, we're going to have so much power. A few more should do it. Oh, what? Come on, you hyped yourself up way too much, MJ. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, juicy, freezy, pizza greasy. We're sparkling again. And now we're black. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. And now we're going to have to beat m -tail for a third time. Oh, yay, Amphros, yay. That was cool. That makes dollars. We came here to figure out if Entei was behind all the Medusa incidents. People put it turn into stone and stuff. But we figured it out, and he is not the father. Oh, there you go. Well, before we continue, we should probably re-randomize our Pokemon so another Entite incident doesn't happen again. You guys know the screwdriver by now. Let's roll our first one. Our first Pokemon is Absol. Not bad at all. Our next Pokemon is Milotic. Interesting. It seems to be getting hotter lately. It just looks hot outside. The sun is beaming down. It really is getting closer, isn't it? I would assume he's talking about the sun. Nuzly? Did that just say Nuzly? It is Nuzly! Oh man, that's awesome! But we aren't even there yet! Never mind. Here we are. Oh! No way! So Nuzly's asking about the Behem, and we haven't really seen them around here. I guess our leaving of the village really did benefit everybody. But now Jairachi's asking, we gotta tell him. Oh, uh, yep, didn't take that well. Wait, never mind, what? I did not expect him to just go along with that. So casual about it. Well, that's it for Nuzleaf. Bye-bye. Oh, everybody else knows now. You used to be a human, you say? You'd be right about that, Bunnelby. And you have no memory of it either. Bingo. And there's somebody after you? Spot on, Archon. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> they really did not care at all. How interesting. Like it was no big deal at all. That means that the people at Lively Town are wimps. He's so hot! There's got to be some reason as to why the sun is just getting extremely racist. Something is quite wrong about this heat wave. It's just like... Beep. And we're back in the ocean. It's sky over! Ogre. The sky's black. And it's only the legendary Pokemon that's getting turned to stone. Weird. Oh, that goes hard. Story's really starting to get into some detail now. What? What's happening? A warning? About what? Oh, it's just about this whole ordeal. How dumb do you have to be to send warnings of your own crime you're committing? British spotted. Opinion ignored. Or is that Australian? What's happening? Oh, it's the government documents. They dropped them again. A warning? Haven't we been talking about reports going around different towns and cities and junk? All the warnings about the Pokemon turning to stone. And now they've finally reached us. What are we going to do about it, Ampharos? The next target has been decided. All far is going down. 
And it's that Entei guy. So we're going down this big showdown mountain thing to try and find out who's turning all these Pokemon to stoners. So we've all been separated into teams to do the job efficiently. Efficiently and effectively. All right, let's go. Let's do this, boy. Oh, look at that spawning right next to the stairs. How nice is that? This one is probably going to be one of the more brutal dungeons, if you ask me. I wouldn't be surprised if there was more than like... 13 levels. But considering our type matchup and our team, that ain't gonna be an issue at all, cuz. So I would assume this is like most of the story dungeons and that there's a halfway point. We're at level 11 and we still haven't gotten to the halfway point yet. Oh, my Flintstone chocolate gummies. This is gonna be a wild one. Chocolate gummies is a wild thing to think about. Imagine a gummy covered in chocolate and yet I still wanna try it. I, that's, uh, I, yeah. Oh, we finally made it. Oh, we made it all the way up. Oh, look at this. It's like the Grand Canyon and the Sahara Desert. that it's crocodile why is he following us he dropped something as well it's the ten commandments why was crocodile carrying the ten commandments with him this is all quite strange if you ask me i think this is the peak This is where they're going to be duking it out. A duel to see who's the better basketball player. Gotta keep quiet though. We don't know nobody to spot us. What the? We missed the show. It's already gone down. And another one bites the dust. Ampharos, yay! Our enemy appears to be quite the formidable Pokemon. Big words. But you're not wrong. How scary must this thing be? It's just effortlessly turning all these legendaries to stone, man. Crocodile being there was very weird. We're thinking it might be him somehow. I don't understand how that would work, but I guess it does. Oh, that's right. He did drop the Ten Commandments. Weird stone tablet looking on goofy eye looking thing. There's people missing. Where's Archon? Where's Weasel? And where's Maywile? Man, it must be taking a while to decipher that tablet then. I feel like it really shouldn't be that hard though. Just take a dictionary, go junk. Uh, uh, ah. It's as simple as that, fam. Watch me solve this Rubik's Cube, bro. Too good. We've been looking out for Crocodile, and he doesn't seem anywhere around here. We checked his place and we found a half written warning letter. It's decided. He's him! He's the father, whatever you want to say it. He's the one turning all these Pokemon to stone. Because there's no way. I don't know what there is in a way of, but there's just no way. And he wasn't there. That's suspicious. And Mayo has black too. 
and the stone tablet was a record of the incidents of Pokemon being turned to stone. Really quite the coincidence that Crocodile was holding it. And most of these incidents are happening in the ruined stones of the east. I don't know what it was called. I already forgot. But maybe if we go there, we'll figure out some more info on this junk. The Prehistoric Ruins. That's the name. Maybe there we'll figure this whole ordeal out. It's off to the Prehistoric Ruins tomorrow. So soon? All right, then. I guess we're just going to do it tomorrow. Let's get this, fam. Where did Denai go? Oh, there she is. Somebody saw a crocodile. That ain't good. That's not good at all. Oh, great. It seems a change of plans is in order. Well, duh. I don't want my home getting farted on. We gotta go back to Serene Village so that we can go and kick Crocodile in his booty cheeks. All right, let's get this pack of Lady Kaka Oreos. This one's gonna be a long journey, fam. Oh, it's Nose Pass, the guy who saw Crocodile. Sheer Mountain Ridge. That's where we've gotta go. And he was just heading to the top. Weird. He's off to get somebody's booty cheeks. Let's hope we can get there before he does. We made it! It literally looks exactly the same as when we left. What the fart? That's exactly what I'm saying, fam. Maybe he didn't get here yet? He's coming from the same place we came. To Revelation Mountain. Oh, okay. That's a bit sudden, but all right. Some Pokemon I've never seen before is invading. That's Crocodile. I bet my nutsack on it. And if it ain't Crocodile, you can clip my scrotum right off. I knew it! I literally knew it. Man, all these Lego bricks are starting to click together like Lego bricks. Well, let's get up to that Revelation Mountain, fam. No time to waste. Dang, he just smashed up that gate. Oh, wait, is it Revelation Mountain, the place with all the secrets and junk that have been, like, kept safe forever? That's probably what he's after. But enough of that, it's time to climb up this Revelation Mountain once again. But this time, we actually make it past the gate that we couldn't get past before. But even if there was those guards still there, I'm pretty sure we'd be allowed through. This is some serious business right here. He broke the other gate as well. And everybody's dead. I feel like I'm severely underestimating Crocodile because I feel like he's not this strong. Let's get a move on, folks. We're officially in untreaded territory. This is no man's land. We got stopped last time we went this far. But we're on official business now, so we can do whatever we want. What's this? Oh, it's the other team. Chill out, Nuzleaf. This is just the future happening right before your eyes. Everything's going smoothly on to Dene's end. It cut off. And then they died. Alright, let's keep this train moving. right about that fam i think we made it to the top of revelation mountain whoa that's like a prism it's so pretty i second that statement very mystical and still no sign of crocodile something's in there though it's water the agua fresca the h2o why would they need to keep a bunch of water inside this goofy looking diamond the minecart dan tdm thing it's another stone tablet Looking very old, if you ask me. I've seen this writing before in Maywile's room, so it's probably the same writing. Wait, what? Ain't no way Maywile spent days deciphering that tablet just for you to be able to read it. is really quite interesting. Three lines. 5,000 bars, five seconds. seconds. 
I think we got that. Summon a person. That would be me! And the barrier over the spring is definitely that diamond in the minecart thing. And a human can break it. Why would I need to break it? I have no clue. Oh, wait. This ain't no H2O. This that W2O. This is probably the stuff that can save the Pokemon from turning into stuff. Oh! Dude, this is like building a shed. I, have no, I don't know why, but it's like building a shed. Prehistoric Ruins Expedition Team here. Oh, so they didn't die. Oh, that looks freaky. We learned something amazing. Hit me. I didn't mean literally. And they said that there is a way to bring the Pokemon back. Special water called Luminous Water. That stuff in there looks like water to me, Ja. So I'ma have to break the barrier and save everybody. I'ma be a hero, bro. I'ma be famous. It's the main man himself! What does he want? What does the little goober want? Uh-oh, he's coming towards us. Who's this? See that? Hold on, hold on. This scene goes hard and all, but did you see my lot? It can literally turn into a snake. And my word is Kukada about to get his booty butt cheeks beat. There is no way he's squaring off against Raikou and Suicune. He is distracted, so he could break the barrier and not have to worry about anybody getting turned to stone. No way he's just walking past them. This wasn't part of the deal. Deal or no deal? What, what in the deal or no deal is happening in the Las Vegas right now?
Turning to stone isn't scary anymore. Yeah! Can't touch us now, Cuckoo Doll! Don't play dumb, you goober. Wait, what? What has Nuzleaf got to do with this? What the fart? My man think he's Superman. What is he waffling about? What the? Hold on, Nuzleaf. What did you just do? No farting way. It wasn't Crocodile. It wasn't Entei. It was the dude who took us in. It was Nuzleaf, man. Dude, that's actually crazy. This is quite the bomb to drop. What do you mean from when I lost my memory? Everybody's turn to stone. What a twist and turn of the plotting, lotting, dotting. I got no words, fam. Amphros, what do you think about all this? The water's gone, so nobody can come back, and we're all dead. This place looks freaky. This just looks like another dungeon. Whoa. It's like the nether in Minecraft. So this is like heaven for Pokemon. Cool. So is this another dungeon? I don't know. I better get prepared as if it was one. Abyssal Badlands. Well, look at this. This is quite cool, actually. What is that? Looks new. Looks interesting. Grimy food. Just like McDonald's. I gotta try it. What's that? What's gonna happen? Bad things will happen? I doubt it. This Pokemon can't do anything. So you just get paralyzed. So that's cool. Don't eat McDonald's, kids. Okay, wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. If this is a place where only Pokemon that get turned to stone go, how are there enemy Pokemon here? I feel like it would be cooler if there was just no Pokemon here and we were the only ones. A cave? It's dark. It's Dedenne, no way. Even while we're turned to stone in the Voidlands, aka an unknown universe, we can still talk to each other. That's why you should use Discord, everybody. Hey, the gang meet up, the family reunion, let's go.
So everybody was turned to stone. Oh, so the enemy Pokemon here are not even real. That makes a lot of dollars. They're literally made of hate. That's cool. But these notes were wrote by other Pokemon that have been here years ago. So this whole global outbreak happens a lot, I guess. So our next goal now is to try and find everybody. It's weird that we can only reach them when we're close to them. But hopefully, if we just keep exploring, we'll find them. And now we're in the Cave of the Deep. This is probably going to be a hard dungeon. There's more writings. All right, come on, fam. Let's read it. Dark matter is the source of all woe. Dark matter? Dark matter absorbs the energy of Pokemon as it turns them to stone. With that energy, it grows stronger. Dark matter will continue to turn Pokemon to stone to enlarge itself. Was that what we saw covering the earth earlier? And is that the reason that it can get flicking legendary Pokemon? It's dark matter that's responsible for the turning to stone incidents. There's more writings over here. Look out for void shadows. That seemed very exclamatory. That's a word. I, I, I said it, so it's a word. And that message just cuts off. He must have been in the heat of a battle when he wrote that one. Weasel! Oh, let's go to the family reunion. It's the grimy food we saw earlier. But mind that, the gang's all back together and we're gonna make it out of here. This place is goofy. The textures are glitching, the music is reversed. This is weird. Oh wow, this is a lot of Pokemon in one dungeon. This is a team of like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nineteen thousand million billion trillion blah blah. It's a lot of Pokemon. If you look on the mini map, it just looks like a huge snake just crawling through this dungeon. Somebody turn the light switch back on. There's more writing. And the grimy food is back. Something about a tree of life. Oh wait, that's like Pokemon X and Y. And it's the source of energy in the entire world. That's a lot of energy for one little tree. And it's been possessed by this dark matter stuff. Wait, you're right, Buizel just vanished. I didn't even notice him. And Bunnelby, wait, what the fart? He's just standing there. That's odd. Wait, what? He's the fungus mungus among us. Wait, it was that, it was that, it was, uh, it was that stuff we saw earlier. Whoa. It looks like Mickey Mouse. And there's more of them. Actually, it looks like Reggie Rock. Oh, fart. It's another battle! As always, I have no items. We're just gonna have to fight this one out. Suck a punch, that boy. Void shadows. That's odd. I wonder what typing it is. That's so weird. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh, but they're just gonna keep on coming. As soon as we beat them, they just regenerate.
Holy moly. Yay! All is well. And we just disappeared. Whoa. Where's this place? Whoa, hold up. This is breaking. Oh my word, this that broke so badly. We've just turned into void now. We're white! Wait, hold your horses. Sacrifice. I did not give no agreeance to that. I am not dying. I ain't going down as no sacrifice. That's dumb. But this place we saw earlier is connected with the world that we used to be in. So if we go up there, we might be able to go back. Look at me, I'm cooking. We put in all these Lego bricks together like we play in Minecraft in this boy. So this is it. We're just getting sacrificed to these parasites because they want to live in that world. Talk about legendary. But we're going to goof along with these parasites and then we're going to be able to get back. I got you, I got you. <laughs> Oh, uh, who would have guessed it? It's another dungeon. This time we're accompanied by all three of them dog Pokemon. I think that's what they're called. Watch as we do all the work in the dungeon and they start dogging on us because we didn't do anything. How interesting. Chat, is this real? Oh my word, guys, peep the new microphone. This thing sounds crisp. All right, it's been about two weeks since I've last recorded a bit for this video, so what is happening? Nah, I got you, fam. I got this. <laughs> That's not what I meant! I meant to hit the ghastly, not Suicune, fam. <laughs> Now I gotta go all the way back over to revive Suicune. All right, we made it out, fam. was close what's this oh it's a beam of light give us a break fam there's too many goopy loopies Oh, chill, 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 chill. I didn't ask for no megas. Maybe I did. Let's beat these jaws up. Give me your booty butt cheeks. I bet you stand no chance. Oh, fart. We did a lot of damage, but at the same time, we did no damage. Dude, how much health does he have? There we go. It's all downhill from here. Well, that wasn't too bad, I don't think. And there it is again. All right, now we just walk in. Easy. Are you farting on my nutsack right now? Dude, give us a break! What are they doing?
What are they farting on about? Ready for what? Just run in there right now. Go. We're back from the dead, y'all. Guess who's back? The luminous water's gone, though. I mean, who expected Evolatol and Nuzleaf to just leave it there? So we've got to find luminous water somewhere else. And the first step to getting more Agua Fresca is finding Ampharos. We made it back, chat. Chat, we made it back. Oh, we're so black. Let's find Ampharos, y'all. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Avert your eyes, children. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead, dude. Man, this is awful. Ampharos better not have been turned to stone. I didn't even care about Swirlix. Gluttonous fiend got what he deserved. Oh, there's some survivors. So they all fled here when the attack came as if this is like some bomb bunker. Honestly smart of them. Okay, enough chit chat. Enough chat, chatting, chat, chatting, chat, chatting, chat. It's time to find Ampharos. Hello. Oh my goodness, there's no food. <laughs> this is my worst nightmare. I love food. Do you guys like food? You guys better like food. If you guys don't like food, you can't be my friend. Esper! S is probably shocked that we're even back. What in the world? What was that? I'm scared. Dude, there's not even any music playing right now. You want to hear what's playing right now? Nothing! This is terrifying! I never thought I'd get scared by a flicking Pokemon game. Oh, fart! Oh, no! The power of Christ compelled you! I know what you did to everybody! You're not gonna turn me to stone! <laughs> State your case before I peel off your face. Ooh, that was kind of hard. That was bars. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. Dude, it's just one behem. We've got this easy. Watch this. I don't understand how, but I'm doing like a million damage. I'm gonna just do it again. Easy. Oh, man. Look who fell asleep first. He's back up and moving, though. What the fart? Is he dead? Wait, but he was part of Nuzleaf and Eveltal. We were all being controlled by dark matter. The what? We were just tools to them. He knows where the tree of life is. Ah! Dude, this is where it's at. This is the Costco gift card we've all been looking for. We need to get Amphros' opinion on this. Do we trust this little goober? Uh-oh, Esper can't reach him. We're dead. It's Jover, y'all. All right, we can't get in touch with Amphro, so we're on our own. We're just gonna have to trust him, I guess. He could be scheming and steaming, bro. This is the best shot we've got, though, so I guess we gotta roll with it. Oh, Lapras is still here. All right, then. Let's be off.
This is a little like the Fortnite Battle Pass. Google, show me this guy's ball. Anyway, chat, chat. Is this real chat? Chat, I don't think this is real chat. We gotta re-randomize our Pokemon. Didn't you see we beat up that Tyranitar? That was all me, fam. We gotta re-randomize our Pokemon, fam. You guys literally already know the screwdriver by now. Let's get this, John. Oh my word, is the luck on our side today? No way! Dude! We got a Veltal! Uh-oh, that's not a Veltal. Are you goofing with me? Here, watch this, guy. Here, watch this, guy. Here, watch this, guy. Yeah! Oh my goodness, I hate the extra large Pokemon. I hate the supersized Pokemon. Yes! We made it out! We seem pretty far down now. If we weren't pretty far down, then I'd be concerned. Well, we're not in a Veltz Hall, but it's time to go to the prehistoric ruins and finally beat up this Dark Matter Ball set. Oh, goodness gracious, Miletus, Grapefruit, Grape Sack Me. I have to go through another dungeon. I'm losing my mind, chat. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm in this for the plot, not the brain rot. Dude, imagine a dungeon, but with more than three levels. Editing Nolan, make it crop on floor four just for irony and funny because that's funny i made a funny joke guys if these aren't the last set of stairs somebody's losing their ability to have kids oh you guys get to keep your children have we made it What's wrong, Bahiam? Are you gonna stab us in the back? Oh, I knew it! <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, goodness. Oh, my word. Oh, no. Dark matter is just one big bundle of unhappiness, hate, and pain. I said that out of order. I'm a goober. But dark matter literally exists because some people are beefing. Y'all, when vegans get mad at each other, is it still considered beef? Any negative feeling we have comes together and attacks the tree of life. That's terrifying. You guys better be nice to y'all siblings. In the ancient past, it was stopped by the alignment of the stars. The planet did begin to get pulled too close to the sun. That's happening now. The day will come when it rises yet again. So we're just never going to be able to get rid of dark matter. Well, then what are we gonna do about this whole situation? The scarves have something to do with this. These scarves were made by an ancient Pokemon known as Mew. Ah, my sweet baby Mary, bloody Mary, little baby bottle of margaritas flavored with strawberry cherries. No chance Mew knows how to crochet. They were made using the materials of the Tree of Life itself. That is insane. We're literally wearing the Tree of Life on our necks. Whole summary of this interaction is that the scarves we're wearing have something to do with defeating dark matter. And that is big. We aren't really near the Tree of Life though, so we have to make our way over there. Holy fluff, dude. This is really getting down to it. But even through all this conflict, Nuzleaf betrayed Betraying us, all of the Pokemon being turned to stone. This interaction we've just had, it tells us that there's a way to get rid of dark matter. It tells us that there is hope. For Fluff's sake, dude, Kecleon, this is the path to the tree of life. No chance you're just chilling here. All right, we made it. This is the primeval forest. It sounds like the forest is evil and also in its prime. Oh my word, you look horrible. You need some makeup right there and you need a bit of polish, a little WD-40. This is what's keeping the money going around and look at it. Look at what you guys did to it. That's dark matter. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. It looks very dark. Uh-oh. Oh my 
word. They're in pain. All of them are. They're just completely possessed by dark matter. Oh, they locked in. It's Jover. Nah, free my man. He did nothing wrong. Whoa. Whoa. again yeah check me out I'm white the tree of life isn't dead ah! there's still hope to save the metaverse one last battle everybody this is it I may have crazy strength for some reason, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. We need to plan this out. First, I'm gonna use a toxic. Oh goodness, I'm confused. Go for it, go for it. No! It's okay, it's okay, we have reviver seeds. Everybody's dying. Oh man, I fluffed up. I know we're only at half health, but I'm still confused. I can do one wrong move and everybody's dead. They're already dead. Sucker punch again. No! Stop having arthritis and beat that guy's booty cheeks. Let's go. Straight shot. Yes. Yes. All we have left is the big guns. We're at 48 health. If I can hit once, I think we'll have a good shot of beating him. I missed. Oh, gosh. Tell me I have an orange berry. I don't have one. Sucker punch again. I hit. Come on. Just one more time. No. You've got to be kidding me. Yes! Oh, dude, that was so scary. They look like they just locked in. They look like the Fortnite Battle Pass. What the? They pulled a Houdini and upped and left. That isn't Eveltal or anybody else. All of creation. At last. At last the time has come. Why does it have co Now I shall leave this world. I don't think we'll miss you. Bye bye. Rest in piss. You won't be missed.
Whoa! We made it to the tree of life! Uh-oh, here we goof again. Oh my god, dude, it's so goofy. Oh, but we can breathe again. We've unlocked water breathing three. And the tree of life spirit is still alive. So we still have time to beat a Veltal, kick their booty cheeks, grab their scrotums, rip them right off, neuter them real quick, and then win the day. The fate of the entire Pokemon universe lies in our hands. We are the only people that can stop this dark matter. And even considering what I said earlier, our time is very limited. We can't mess this up, y'all. And the first part to our journey begins. The tree of life and its roots. No! What? What did I do? Journey is how stupid are you? That's your own fluffing teammate. Gosh, dude, he's got he's 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 got to take his meds. He's an old boy. He's been on this planet for a while. escaping I think we've made it to the next level y'all oh my word what's happening with them hey I'm no Scientologist but that looks like dark matter to me it's dark and it's made of matter all right let's do this this is the final stop until we reach Dark Matter, y'all. This is big strides right here. These are the final steps of our journey, y'all. Let's do this. Whoa. That looks freaky. Guys, if my research is correct, this is going to be the very last battle of our journey together. And because it's our last battle, I think it's only fair that we use the Pokemon we started this journey with. And using those Pokemon, we're going to finish this journey once and for all. Oh my word. So this is like a revisioning of the whole world. What if this is what the dark matter sees? There's still light in the trunk though. The tree of life still lives. Aim for that mass in the center of dark matter. I'll bet that's the core of it. Get rid of that, get rid of dark matter. Our starves were made to be dark matter. This is why we're here, so if we just ram it with all we've got, that may just be our shot. And we're off. We've got to play our moves smart, because if we die, even after all this journey, it will be all for nothing. We can't fail the challenge now, y'all. My first move is going to be a dragon dance. Now we attack. Shoot, we're confused. Goodness, I can't hit anything. There we go. The move missed. I have no doubt that Dark Matter could take us out in a heartbeat. Yes, the luck is on our side. Uh-oh, now we're both confused. We broke it open. Now all we have to do is beat the core. Whoa. Uh-oh! We took too long. The tree of life just died. Oh gosh, we're screwed now.
is it. After all we've done. It was all for nothing, fam. Can't save everybody, can you? It's all on me. I've got to finish the job. What else do we still have? You want to know what I have? Hope. fight everybody now come on let's do this we're gonna finish this off strong my first move is dragon dance we'll dragon dance again now we attack just keep attacking we did it we blew it open just keep on attacking come on we've almost got it open just a little more Come on, let's just take one good swing at it. Yes! After all of our struggles, all of our endeavors, every move and turn we made in this Pokemon Mystery Dungeon universe has led up to this moment. It looks so pretty out. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Just look at it. Oh, it is thriving, dude. I don't even know if Dark Matter could come back to take this thing. Dark Matter is gone. So he lied! We did it! And now the rest of the Pokemon world will live at peace forever. Woo! We did it. After a long journey like this, I think it's about time we go back to our home. Not this one. Let's go back to Serene Village, y'all.
made it back! Where'd they go? Whoa! 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 Ah! Too much affection! Oh, let's go! Let's go! We've peaked! We did it! I wonder how long these fun times can continue. We did get brought to this world just to defeat Dark Matter. Now that we've done our part, doesn't that mean we have to leave soon? I don't know, fam. I feel like that'd be a pretty sad ending to this story. We've got to find a way to stay. My man is gone already. He's probably out moving, talking with his friends. I'm gonna just go catch up with him real quick. My man was planning to pop over to the hill with the big tree. Sounds good, fam. He's probably having like some meetup or something, meet and greet, snacks and stuff. Let's go, let's go. I'm on my way over right now, fam. His friends aren't there. So what, so what is my man doing over there, silly little goober? Hey! Now that I think about it, we were sitting here under the clouds just like this. This is where I gave you that scarf too, that's right! you who has to go. It's me. Just so you know, I really, really wanted to stay with you. What are you doing? I actually wanted to stay with you forever. Stop it! Oh my word. I guess I'm out of time. Dude, stop. Just remember that this world only keeps going because everyone supports one another. They live every day accepting one another. The one who taught that truth to a self-centered fool like me is you. Dude, please, stop. I had a lot of fun. Getting to have a dream, getting to meet you, getting to live. Stop it! It was all because of you. Oh no, oh no, he's leaving. I'll be fine. I'm always fine, aren't I? So, my friend, do me one last favor. And don't you cry. If you guys enjoyed this video, please at least just consider subscribing. I hope I can make you feel something today. That's it for me. Love you guys.